Ooh, I'm getting clapped. I'm getting clapped. Ooh, I'm getting clapped. I'm getting clapped. Save me. Ooh, don't, don't, don't burp. Hello and you know welcome to another episode. So, if you remember last time we were in end, right? Well, you might be wondering why am I at home? Well, I died. So yeah, let's begin with this episode. Before we begin video, be sure to check out our host, BerryBite. They are a very reputable and very good host. And let's begin. I crafted the Soul Forge, which we needed for a totem of post-mortem, which we get by transmutating a totem of undying. Uh, okay, we don't want to get dead. And I guess we do this. And we press to transmutate. Hmm, and it requires some kind of fuel, which I'm not... Soul Quartz, do we have Soul Quartz? Uh, what did I just do? What? Okay. I don't know what did I just do, but whatever. Soul Quartz. We have six. So hopefully one is enough. Okay. It is indeed. And what does the Totem of Postmortem do? I have no idea, but we finished the quest and we got Totem of Anadying. Uh, okay, slot Arcane Scroll. And which is the slot Arcane Slot? Maybe extra? No? Oh, Arcane Scroll. Ah, I see. So when you die, returns your items to the bed or respawn anchor location or the center of the overworld. If you don't have one, but itself remains at the location of your death. Ah, I guess when we die, we're gonna see what it does. So, yeah. Hmm. What else can we do? Ectoplasm. Ah, slime ball. So we need to transmute slime ball. And thank God we have four slime balls. And I don't know why bucket of slime and bucket of slime are separate. But we oh <laughs> hopefully Okay that doesn't work That doesn't work Hold on I need four to transmute one Oh Well I guess we're going into the nether to get some more Oh and I did some bit more stuff off camera because the boring stuff for example Hello the cooking stuff for the nether rice roll medley and Fire in Pondue Pot was a bit boring because it's just waiting, waiting, cooking, 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 waiting, and just a lot of fishing and waiting. So, yeah, I done that. And we need Cinder Shell and Wildfire Crown and Mutant Blades here. And we need Ectoplasm, Soul Sand Clump, Drop by Embody. Huh? Okay, we don't need a lot of stuff, but. Oh, I see. Oops. Yeah, but let's get going. Of course, of course. Somehow I threw. Where did I? No, that's not where I threw my ender pearl. Oh, hello there, ghost. You found a really nice place to settle down. And oh, that's a fire elemental. That's new. Don't kick me. And for some weird reason, those basalt giants give crazy amount of experience. I don't know why is that so, but who am I to ask, right? Like, watch this. Bam, bam, bam. 73 experience. Like, you see, like, the normal guys give nothing interesting. But that guy gives, like, 73 experience. Oh, not you. I don't want to fight you now. I just killed a guy and got a music disc. But if I'm not wrong, I need to hurt on Soul Sand or some enemies. Yeah. I think this is what we need, right? Goodbye. Is that that? Yeah, that's Soul Quartz. So basically, I take damage and then I mine this and we get the Soul Quartz. I'm smart. And we are back home with the stuff we need. Let's transmute this. So we need four per one, right? No, three per one. What? 
Ah. Okay, for ectoplasm, we got that. And yeah, that was boring. Undead soul. So what do we need for undead soul? And undead soul. Aha, uh -huh, we're missing spirit eye. Which is got from these guys. I think I got that. Yep. Okay, and we're missing just creature Screecher soul. So I guess we go and try and find the deep dark. I think I can use the compass on that if I'm not wrong. Compass. And how is, how is it called? Is it called deep dark? Deep dark, yeah. Start search. Oh, it's actually not it's not far away from us. So I'll meet you there. Oh, and yeah, this anomaly is here from the last episode and I really can't kill either of them. So yeah, they're gonna stay here as a decoration. And I'm still surprised that those mutant mobs don't attack me for whatever reason. Like, I am thankful that they, 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 they are not attacking me, but you know, it's weird. And hopefully that's not a bug. What are you doing here, my man? How did you get all the way up here and still be alive? What? Like, our hometown is over here. You are all the way over here. I swear I find the iron golems at the most random places. So apparently the deep dark is around here somewhere. So I guess we dig down. And I hear someone moaning. I wonder who could that be? Eh. Not in the mood to find out right now. What? Okay. Of course there's an entrance to this cave. Actually, hold on. I think we need a block of alderite for... Oh yeah, I was actually wondering where I find this. Don't tell me that's the other block I need. Yes, that's Lumerie. Oh my god. I was just looking at this. How do I get this? Uh, because there wasn't any info on how to get this. But I guess I got it now because there's a quest for Sparkle Sparkle which gives us uh Actually I don't know why why would I want to do that. Oh but actually I can complete it. Oh nice, we're gonna complete it that too. And there is an otter in this cave! Oh my god! There's an otter here. Hello otter. Oh you got hurt. Well, I guess we got a safe landing option now because, you know, the water is here to break and fall. So whatever is down there, we're gonna m make it safely. Man, those lava pools are crazy. Like, look at this. Look at those caves. Man, what did we just find? And I think this blue stuff is green, green dark. Yep, deep dark. I was correct. Well, we just hit a bedrock, so I guess we overshot where the biome starts. What? I found Skulk. Okay, I guess this is what we were looking for. Uh-huh. Okay. Is that the thing that spawns Warden? This is such an interesting generation, because the... Caves are mixing with the deep dark, creating this amazing atmosphere of no mobs. Oh yeah, this is the thing that screams, that summons the warden. But where is the warden? Come on. I want to fight the warden. Hmm. Interesting. Looks like I don't see the warden around here. Oh, there he goes. There he is, my favorite non-enemy. Did he drop something? I wonder. Yeah, yeah, I smell you too. Come here. Come try and clap me. I can clap you too, you know. Da da da, bam bam, you supersonic boom, strong, scary. If you only knew what I thought. Okay, I got a warden treasure bag. And what do we get from that? 
Spell of Sonic Boom. And bot was a chanting. Uh, come here. We're gonna farm you a bit. Because I'm interested in what your bags drop. Yeah, the most interesting fight in the history. But I think I'm surviving this one. Oh, and here comes the other one. Let's see. Uh huh, uh huh. Okay, Warden Treasure Bag. So we are missing one reward. So I guess let's form it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You strong. You strong, boy. Ooh, and we actually nearly died. Oh no. Yeah. This is not the fight we can endure. We need to take a little break. Let the warden do its own thing and let's see what again in Vidrala. My language. We still didn't get what we need. Ah, oh, come on. We need to kill him again. I mean, technically, the warden is like a scary option, but you know. In this mod pack, where we are overpowered already. Oh, he ran away. And here he comes. Come here. Of course, I can't do nothing to you with your animation. On. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess who's at full HP? Yeah, that's right, it's me. Bye bye. And we again didn't get all the stuff from the treasure bag. Come on. I love how my auto eat always spawns warden because, you know, I have set it so it auto eats, you know, stuff. Ooh, I'm getting clapped, I'm getting clapped. Ooh, I'm getting clapped, I'm getting clapped. Save me. Ooh, don't, don't, don't burp. Yeah, I need to regen for a bit. And this thing being out of range is making me crazy. Yep, burp, burp. Okay, we can finish him. Where are you, my dude? Don't you run away from me. Ooh, that did a lot of damage to me. Like, I don't understand this mod pack. Like, for a, for one thing, he can't do damage, but on the other time, he just deletes me almost. Yeah, I'm gonna not stab the warden anymore. I need to find the Shrieker mob. Because, you know, I need it for a quest. And I don't know how to find one. Oh, no, this is the worst place you could spawn, my dude. Why did you spawn right next to me? From all the pla- Oh, there's, there's a Shrieker. But, man... Oh, I don't like this. This is a tight spot for the two of us. One of us is gonna die this time. I'm not running away. One of us is gonna die. Ooh, it, you hope it's gonna be me. Goodbye. Ooh, that was close. And if you're wondering what am I doing in this uh, ruin, I'm trying to get the quick latch from RNG drop, earth piecer, stone cutter, and yeah. So we can get this. Gate regeneration from killing mobs, regeneration stacks, like that's the best trinket we can have. So I might be in a bit of pickle, like I think one of the wardens went away, but around me there's like three wardens, or was three wardens, either way, not good. I mean I can take one, but two or three, nah, yeah there's three. One is there and the other is somewhere, who knows where. But I still haven't seen this guy nowhere in those biomes. By this time I think he should already be, you know, somewhere spawned, but nope. And I'm not sure why they're not leaving, like they should dig up and leave, no, eventually. Everything is underground, but what we need? Ow. I need a screecher. Maybe here? And I just got hit with a withering darkness. Fiery arrow. Indeed, you are forgotten. That's why I forgot you. Man, the warden guy is still above me. Still in this spawn. All I'm getting to spawn are wrong mobs. I need a screecher. Man, that's a lot of creepers and this strange lady. And of course, I get poisoned by this whatever thing is. Goodbye. And that's a skeleton king. I need a screecher guy. Oh hell no, not again. 
Come on, I stupid ass mobs. Yeah, this is the mission impossible. Come on, there's like 50 wardens on the mob map already. Yeah, I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I. Why is there a warden here? I wasn't here, was I here? Oh shit. Yeah, I just need to go. I just need to go wherever that is. Oh, and the nightmare is here. Hello, nightmare. Actually, I need your stuff, so glad you came. You are a light in these dark tunnels, apart from the warden. Yeah. Oh, I need your school? What? I don't see. Ah, here it is. Nice. We got his school. Um. Oh, you're there. I'm not sure what should I do, because I really am, you know, running around and trying to find this creature guy, but he doesn't seem to be spawning, and, you know, by the looks of it, where is it? Uh, by the looks of it, yeah, it says spawn biome any and light level below 8, but by the looks of how he looks, you would guess he was spawns in deep dark. Oh, and there's another nightmare over here. Hello there. Yeah, I want your drops, thank you. I don't know why this buff skeleton insists on spawning. Like, what is his, like, thing? You're boring mob. The hell was that now? What was laughing at me? Huh? Oh, what is that? What is that? Is that this creature? That creature? No way! Yes, we got what we need. We can dip out of here. Bye bye. No way. Please tell me this is the outside. Please. Oh, those are some other caves. I just realized I didn't record anything because. Yay, OBS! Didn't register my click. Anyways, I got up out of the cave and I got assaulted by mobs and you know. The OBS didn't record, so yeah, let's go home. If I don't have to, I will never again go into the caves. Like, Warden, ah, uh, I can live without him. Voila. We got a school Boomer and a school Sensor. Okay, Boomer. And of course, as the luck has it, we are missing one Soul Salt Clump. Right, Soul Salt. Oh, we are... Wait, we are not? Wait, we are not? Oh! The quest didn't register, we have five. Okay, okay, salt, salt, clump. We got more in return. And that's just easy to create. So, one spider eye. Surrounded by four of those. And voila! And now, we got a throw spirit. And now we can craft undead soul. So go away and bam we got on that soul and a lot of nice stuff so what is the charm infinite souls to help you you gain one extra level of fortune oh i like that so if i'm not wrong we can create the undead eye yep we just created the undead eye and our reward is xp totem dying Oh, 25% damage against undead creatures, against other aggressive creatures, plus one looting level. Slayer, oh, that is so good. Oh my god, hold on. Charm, charm. Trinkets, hands, rings. Uh, what is the charm we have? Okay, plus one for, wait. I can, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, where is the eyeball I just got? Oh no, the reward. What was it? Ah, minus. Okay, so one level plus level of fortune. With this one level of fortune, that's plus two levels. So that's technically level uh, six of fortune we can get. Just imagine how much robes we can get. If we, well, of course, combine all of those stuff. But I prefer XP. Like this, nah, I'm gonna still stick to night vision goggles. As long as it's good, it only lights up area underground and I want to see 
all the time. The only thing I don't know is what are we supposed to do with those eyes? Uh, yeah. Like, what are we supposed to do with those eyes since we already went to the end? Is there a portal that, like, you know, we need to activate with those eyes or... I'm not familiar with that. Oh, when we get achievement, it's a stick. You have a free damage shield, it has 10 seconds of cooldown to reset the damage. Yeah, there's a lot of trinkets and that goes into trinket and charm slots. But we don't have that much slots, so yeah. And I like still like my spider legs. So technically when you look at it, we don't need a lot of stuff, we just need a bit of stuff. Like soul art. Oh, come on. Come on. Of course it has to be a great stuff. Like you see, this for a normal person makes sense. Like a fan blowing through this, creating this, but... Do you mean like that? Or what? Or do you mean like... Ow. Nope. Do you mean like that and uh, ha, like that? Okay. Did I do what I need? I don't think I did the effect. So let's try and throw it here. Uh. Hmm. It looks like it burned our heart of sea. I mean, that's kind of what I expected, because this doesn't show me anything. Like, where do I put it? What do I do? So I accidentally quit the game, but I think I understand what it means. So I drop this... Uh, I drop this... I drop this here. And then push the... Particles from the soul fire sand. Yep. Now tell me, how the hell should anyone think of this? Ah, I'm amazed. At least I know how to brew stuff in Minecraft, so that's something familiar to me. And voila, potion of soul steel. We got that checked off too. So. What do we need to do now? We need blind side. Okay, we find that guy in the nether. And I know exactly where to find him. And here we are. It's a glowstone canyon. And would you look at that? We found the guy right away. Just we need him to drop the stuff we need. And I hate this Cerberus. Like, it's everywhere. It hunted me like three times already. You're not strong. You're just annoying, my guy. With the wither effect and stuff. But no way we found a bastion or whatever this is. What? Okay. And a lot more tasks complete. I guess. Okay. Now there is a lot of mobs and you are a new mob. He gave us five golden apples. What? But the mob I need is nowhere to be seen after the first mob I killed. No way. Do you gonna drop what you need? Of course you're not gonna drop it. Come on. But of course he spawns. And not one, but two of them. Come on. Oh, please, please drop what we need. Please. No, why are you so mad and bad? Why are you so not fair to me? No, don't jump in lava, you idiot. Come on, will I ever get a drop? Here it is. Again, no drop. Am I doing something wrong? Come on. He just doesn't want to drop it. And this guy, give me five golden apples. Thank you, please. Oh, two golden apples. Okay. Hold on. Why is there a dim stone and a glowstone portal? Is this a reference or is there something I don't know? Drop your tongue. Please. No. Yeah, show me 
show him who's the boss. Protect the VIP. Please? He again. Please, drop your tongue. No, but of course the Kerberos is here to treat my day. Please? You're really testing my patience, eh? Give me your tongue. Yes! Finally we can go and rest. Oh, and another Aether reference, but this time without the chest. How nice. And here we go. We're gonna do that and craft the potion. Bam! And bam and bam. And now all the, that's left for us to do is fight mutated wither skeleton and the mutated blaze and whatever these two things are. And then we can focus on the last section over here, which is end. But yeah, with that comes an end to this episode. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and, you know, see you guys next time. Stay awesome. Bye.